Today, I'm going to Walmart to try to find the new Retro Pack 1 reprint edition. We're at Walmart, one day early from release, so I'm hoping they let it out a little bit early so we can get a nice early video. Let's go. I'm so happy we found this, that's great. These are 1960, oh wow, that's actually pretty good after tax, not bad. Cheaper than the GameStop pre-orders, those were 20 plus tax. So six boxes, 118, not horrible. All right, first try. Pretty amazing, because this is a day early. It comes out tomorrow, technically. You'll probably see this the day it comes out, but very exciting. We got a few boxes. Let's get back to the studio, open them up. All right, guys, we are back with our six mini boxes of Retro Pack 1, and yes, one of these will be a giveaway for you guys. So if you guys want to potentially win one of the brand new Retro Pack mini boxes, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below what do you think about the Retro Pack 1 reprint? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What do you like and what do you dislike? Let's get to the video. All right, I'm super pumped for this. And uh, yeah, as we're getting into it, do not forget to subscribe, guys, because 250K, you know we're opening every pack ever made. And that'll include one of these Retro Pack reprint packs as well. Uh, I think we're almost at 8,000 away. We're at 241 like thousand point nine or point nine K or whatever. So we're very, very close to being about a K away, which is pretty awesome. So let's get into this opening. I luckily was able to grab these one day early for release date. So Walmart, you better watch out. You could get in trouble, release the stuff early. I know GameStop was not allowing people to grab them until tomorrow. GameStop was really the only place you could pre-order them, but luckily they're actually cheaper at Walmart. They're $18 a box. They're $20 a box at GameStop. Unless you're a pro member, then it's 19. So Walmart is always a better deal. I think Target will probably have them as well. If you're wondering, like I haven't heard anything about retro pack sassy auto where's the discount code with ruxin there isn't one and the reason is this was a retail only product so target walmart gamestop that kind of stuff is the only places you're going to be able to find this which is weird like it's very weird it's not good for me because it makes it a lot harder for me to get it but it's also kind of cool because it's so exclusive like it's like you're going out and hunting for cards that's like the fun way to find stuff i just hope it doesn't turn into a uh you know, crazy member of the scalper kind of thing. People like tackling each other for Pokemon cards. I don't think that'll happen with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but that's the only thing I'm worried about. If they keep doing this stuff, maybe not this set in particular, but if they kept putting stuff out retail only, I wouldn't really love that. Okay, let's get into the first opening. There, by the way, there are four nine card packs per box, and I think they doubled the pull rates or something on these. So we should be getting some pulls at least you would think. Uh, how do I open this? What is the best way to open this thing? Okay, from the top, probably, it looks like. Okay, so we got a Retro Pack 1 reprint. This is pretty exciting. I mean, just to be able to open Retro Pack for not, like, an arm and a leg or whatever. Okay. I Somebody told me how to do this. I never really figured it out. I guess, oh, I guess you can do that. That's not too complicated. And though Sassiato will not have any of these available, we will be doing a Whatnot stream on Thursday. So you're seeing this... Friday, so next Thursday, so about six days from now, we'll be opening this on Whatnot, 5 p.m. Central, so make sure you guys go follow me on Whatnot. You guys get $15 free credit. If you use the link down below if you're a new user, but even if you're not, you can go on over there, bookmark the show, make sure you're ready for it. It's gonna be amazing. We'll be giving away some mini boxes as well. It's gonna be very fun. I'm super excited for that one because it's very nostalgic, very old school. We'll have a lot of other cool packs available as well, so go follow me on Whatnot if you guys have not done that yet already. Let's find out if it's four from the back. Let's find out. Giant Soldier. Okay, this is going to be fun. This is going to be so much fun. Classic cards. A lot of these I've been seeing in Wheeled Goat a lot recently. If you guys have not seen Wheeled Goat, go check out the series. It's very, very fun. I've been enjoying it a lot. Guy of the Fierce Knight. Just absolute classics. Thunder Dragon. Let's go. We'll put that one to the side. Mold Destruction. We have UFO Turtle. Flying Kamakiri number one. Giant True Name. Oh, and a solemn judgment right off the bat. And by the way, guys, these cards do look a lot like old school cards, which is pretty cool. But if you're worried, don't be because they have the 2020 studio dice at the bottom. So even if they look a lot like original cards, I don't know if they look like the retro pack cards. They look sassy auto actually sent this in our group message. He said, I think they look like dark legends. And I think he's right. They do look a lot like the dark legends print, which was the U S print of retro pack one back in the day that didn't have any secrets or anything. So I think he's right about that. I think these are very dark legends like, and they do look old school, which is really cool, but we can tell the difference because of that down there. So it's basically our first edition unlimited stamp, which is awesome. So like you can enjoy these, they can be old school. They can have all the old school text, but you can also tell the difference from the original. So the original, can hold on to their value a little bit. Okay, starting it off with a super rare, and I will be doing more openings of this, but I have to wait for my stuff from GameStop to arrive because I pre-ordered it. So that might be like next week. So uh, there will be a couple videos between here, like some collections I bought, uh, maybe a Magia opening. Uh, 
before then. So if you guys want to see more of this, there will be more coming. Don't worry. Mystic Tomato and Axe of Despair. So rare. Very cool. And the cool part about this is with Dark Legends, we couldn't get secrets, but this is Retro Pack. So we can get those that secret Harpy, uh, Cyber Harpy Lady. Yeah. The Amazon is Chain Master. I mean, there's a lot of really cool stuff that could be in here. Uh, Exodia, obviously, Blue Eyes is in here. Uh, so all that stuff's going to be pretty nice. I might grade something. Like, if we got the Blue Eyes, I'd probably grade that. Are you a Zenru? Luminous Spark. And Penguin Soldier. I forgot this was a super rare. Penguin Soldier. Oh, Kaiba Man. That's the one we actually did pull out of the original Retro Pack one. It was like a $500 secret at the time. It's probably not anymore, but not totally sure. I'll have to see if CCG Player made a separate thing for this. I'm pretty sure that they will, which will also help the originals hold up in value a little bit more because they won't be mixed in with the, the new stuff. There's Thunder Dragon. Thousand Dragon. That's awesome. Hey, Nang. This is such a fun set. This is such a fun set. Look at the miscuts! Oh my goodness, it's nearly off the card. Uh, somebody actually texted me, or uh, an Instagram messaged me and said, Hey, Retro Pack 1 has great quality control. Awesome or something. Um, I think we may have missed something. That's okay though, this is a cool mis miscut. Okay, Rising Air Current, Giant Germa, hopefully. The Please foil, B. Okay, not miscut. Oh, it is B! Skull Dragon, all right, that's a rare. Uh, wow. That's insane. I'm definitely going to put those to the side for a misprint binder. Um, I have a misprint binder that's like mostly like little misprints like that that I've pulled for myself. Uh, and that'll go in there. That's pretty cool. Maybe one day I'll show you guys the misprint binder. If you guys want to see it, let me know. If you do want to see the misprint binder, we will make a video about that at some point. Also, a reminder, if I haven't done this yet in this video, go check out Ruxin34.com. There is a lot of insane product over there right now. So a lot of it's sold already because you guys... The Ruxin34, uh, Ruxin34.com people, they're pretty quick to get to it, but there's still a lot of amazing stuff that I picked up recently. You guys will see that consignment, or not consignment, uh, collection purchase very soon. And also, if you want to be notified about Ruxin34 uploads, you can uh, make a profile there. You can sign up for the email, all that different stuff, and it'll tell you when I upload new items. And then you can be first to the awesome stuff that I put out, which, by the way, there's some really nice. I mean, some of the best stuff we've ever had on the website is up there right now. Some, a lot of it's sold, though, but some of it is... Actually, there's still a lot available, though. Okay, Flame Swords, but we have a uh, Man Eater, Harpy Lady, Gazelle, Mystic Tomato Miscut, Upstar Goblin Miscut. Dude, this must be a common thing. Rising Air Current again, Mega Ryuran, and Graceful Chair. Oh, that's kind of sick, because Graceful Chair doesn't have a lot of prints. That, that would probably be good to pull out for, like, uh, not Edison, Goat Decks, because I've been playing so much Goat on Wheeled Goats, like... I'm really loving, I just love that format now. And you know how much better it is when you don't have duo in it? I mean, Master Duel version with no duo, it's incredible. I'm I'm enjoying it so much. Arm Ninja, we have Gazelle, King of the Beasts. Dude, they're all like this, holy crap. Okay, number one manga, that one's pretty bad. These are, they're, oh yeah, that might be the worst one yet. And the red, it's Black Dragon. Again. Oh, crazy miscut, followed by the red eyes black dragon. Oh my goodness, what an amazing pack. That is insane. This new retro pack set, these look so good. They absolutely made these look old school. Wow, Konami, I gotta say, I'm impressed. I think you did a really good job with these. They look really awesome. A ferocious dragon with a deadly attack. All right, two more packs. Let's go. Before we have a uh, black pendant, we have cannon soldier. Curse of Dragon, we have Mahavalo. Dude, they're, I don't know if, it must be my batch, because I haven't heard, seen this from anybody else. Giant Germ, Gaia Power, Sonic Bird. This is so cool. And a Time Wizard, oh my gosh. The double, the doubling the pull rates, I assume, is gonna mean we're gonna pull a lot of foils, but wow, still no secrets though. I hope we at least get one, that'd be cool. Time Wizard, dude, I feel like our pulls are cracked right now. We paid 118 bucks, I showed that in the vlog part. Um, so I feel like we're doing pretty good with all these miscuts. Like this is this is making up for it. Oh, okay, careful, don't wanna ding anything. We have uh, seven tools of the bandit. I feel like we're gonna get it again. Oh, like an egotist, thousand dragon. Oh my gosh, dude, mermaid. It's like every pack, Manga Ryuran, Toon Summit Skull. Flying Kamikiri number one, I'm gonna have a whole miscut goat deck. And a heavy storm. All right, cool card, cool card. Okay, uh, that's too many boxes in. This has been insane so far. This has been literally insane. Um, let me get this off over here. I cannot believe that we are pulling this many miscuts. Like, that is super crazy. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that means if you guys, if this is in all these, the giveaway might have some miscuts too, which is pretty insane. 
You know what would be nice is a miscut, like foil. That would be pretty awesome. Like super miscut. Like a secret rare or something. We have Baby Dragon. Very nice, Joey Wheeler. Polymerization. Get that thun or not Thunder Dragon. Thousand Dragon. Elegant Egotist. Arm Ninja. Giant Rat. Heal Zenru. Luminous Spark. Okay, none in this one. One Destruction. Right Arm of the Forbidden One. Completing Exodia would be pretty fun. Uh, I mean, the only hard one is the Exodia Head because the rest are rares, but the Exodia Head's an Ultra. It would still probably take uh, quite a bit of packs. I, I gotta see how many packs I have to see if we can really do a non-whatnot stream. I don't know if we will be able to or not because it was so hard to get product here. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough, but maybe I will. We'll have to find out for next week. If you do want to see a YouTube stream of this after the one-not stream, Solemn Judgment double. That's pretty. Let's get the playset. I could. I'm probably gonna dual stream the one-not stream as well. I'm not sure yet. It might be on YouTube as well, but we might do a YouTube exclusive one, just for fun. Because this is the last release until uh, the Mega Tens, and that's late in September, I think. So. We're going to be doing a lot of Magia hunting, probably. <laughs> Flame Swordsman, Curse of Dragon, or as, as much as we can, because as you saw, my Walmart was out of Terminal Revenge. I don't know if there's going to be more. Upstart, we have Rising Air Current. Mega Ryran, no more miscuts, it looks like. Toon Summon Skull. Right leg. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's put this out there. I mean, just in case. Just in case we summon Exodia. Let's just let's just get it ready, okay? Uh, we need, still need three more. The Exodia Head's really the big one. After that, we could start hoping. Because we only have nine packs left, so it's going to be tough. We have Jurai Gumo. Travel. Black Pennant. Dude, I just want to play more Goat now. Honestly, I like. I thought maybe like playing Goat every week would be like, uh, you know, I'm kind of tired of it. I actually want to play more now. Left leg. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's get, let's get it in the light. Let's get it in the light. Exodia. We are getting close. Two more mini boxes for this opening. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, make sure to like the video, subscribe, especially. I cannot wait to do that every pack opening, guys. I mean, I have so many cool plans as well. I mean, it is going to be a really fun week, a really fun week for openings. And I am pumped to record them because, you know, I get to open all the packs. <laughs> very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, let's do that so we don't hit Exodia. Give us another piece or the head. The head would actually, I'd get excited because we'd be really close. Cannon Soldier. Harpy Light, no doubles, please. Thousand Dragon uh, of the Exodia pieces, at least. We're going to get doubles of the commons. UFO Roid, Black Lusion Ritual. <laughs> a play set. Oh, my God. Speaking of doubles, that's a triple. I said no doubles. I got a triple. I was really talking about Exodia. I will take three Solemn Judgments. That's not bad. I might even keep all, like, all of these pulls, like, not bulk out anything, just so, like, if you want to do an old school deck, you have, like, everything. Like, this set has, like, a bunch of old school cards in it that you can use. Well, they're all old school, but... Uh, that you can usable ones, I should say. Trapple. I think it's pretty miscut. We have the Gazelle, Baby Dragon, Curse of Dragon, Toon Mermaid, Gaia Power. These are pretty miscut too, but not as. Okay, that one's pretty bad. Catapult Turtle, dude. The foils are everywhere. This is going to be a fun experience. I like this. I'm liking this more and more. It's going to be a fun experience. If you go in, I remember when I was first getting back into it, if this set had been out, I would have gone crazy because I was buying all the old school packs for $8 a piece and loving it. So, I mean, this is going to be even more fun because it's all the nostalgic cards lumped into one set. You're getting high pull rates. It's going to be fun. Giant Germ, I mean, more very miscut cards. Uh, we have Black Illusion and Graceful Charity. I'll take it. I'm not mad about that. One more pack. We need more Exodia. Need more Exodia. Let's pull the right arm right here just so we have a chance. We have the Gravekeeper Servants, Mask of Darkness, Magic Jammer, Flame Swordsman, Sinju of the Thousand Ants, Giant Germ, Umiruka, way off center. We have Toon World. Let's go. And Exodia. The Forbidden One! Let's go! Oh my goodness! We just need the left arm of the Forbidden One to summon the most powerful monster in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And look how good it looks. Oh my goodness, that looks good. Dude, like, these look incredible. Oh, they look good. Oh my goodness. We need one more piece to obliterate. Come on, last box. Last box magic. Can we do it? Last box magic. Come on, baby. Bless us with the four packs of destiny that will have Exodia. This would be so cool <laughs> to get this on just like six or five boxes, act 20 packs. Come on, baby. Four pack magic. We just need that left arm of the forbidden one. Thunder Dragon. We have four chances because we have four rares. Thousand Dragon, unless we have some sort of error, which would be cool. Hey, name. Ma Vila, we have Gaia Power. I, this is a fun set. I, I'm all in. I'm in, guys. I was skeptical. I'm all in. Giant Rat, Toon Mermaid. Come on, normal, 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 normal. Oh, the Dark Magician! 
What in the world? That's not the Exodia piece, but we'll take it. The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Unbelievable. And he's centered. Oh, how, how's the back look? Let's check out the Q, QC on some of these. Little dot right there, but I think that might be able to. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a corner issue. Probably not a PSA 10 yet. Little bent corner. All right. Still a sick card, though. Still a sick card. We'll take it. I'm not mad about that. Three packs left, guys. You got to subscribe for this opening. I mean, come on. This is one of the coolest, coolest reprint sets ever, I got to say. We have Flame Swordsman, Man Eater Bug, Harpy Lady. Gazelle, I'm all in. I'm all in, Konami. You guys are you guys are killing it. This is a good choice. Heo Zanru, here we go. Kaya the Dragon Champion! Oh my gosh! This is insane. You get so many foils. Only 20 packs. Oh, we gotta count how many we've gotten. By the way, no secrets. No secrets, but endless foils. I kind of forgot there were secrets. This has been so crazy. We've pulled 10 foils. Three ultras, red eyes, dark magician, and exodia. All we need now is the blue eyes. And we've pulled, uh, I guess, what is that? Three, seven supers. So three solemn judgments. Uh, very crazy. No secrets yet, though. Hmm, that might be might be the tough thing to pull. I mean, it's going to be harder. Jirai Gumo, but maybe it's still pretty tough. Arm Ninja. Shh. Gazelle. Mother Grizzly, Ruxin Special, Toon World. Giant Rab, we have Upstart. Beast Skull Dragon, still cool card. Cool card, cool card. Last pack magic, come on, baby. Left Arm of the Forbidden One, or Blue Eyes, or a Secret Rare. Any of those... I'm very happy. We're from the back. We have Black Pendant, Cannon Soldier, Curse of Dragon, Mahavilo, Nimble Bamonga, Rising Air Current, Luminous Spark, Toon Summon Skull, and Last Pack Magic, Monster Reborn! We'll take it super rare. Oh my goodness. What an opening. This new set is going to be one heck of a time for anybody who likes old school cards. I would highly recommend checking out your targets, your Walmarts. You can still probably buy them online at GameStop. That might be a good place to buy them if you don't want to go out and like fight in people in the retail market. You know, it might be tough to find them because people will be going out looking for them starting probably today. So, okay. Wow. What an amazing opening. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out Rockstar34.com if you guys want to pick up some awesome stuff. And uh, we we will be doing more of these next week. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Anesto Deanna, America Doyster, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Changelang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.